Hey everyone, welcome to CME. I'm Maria and today let's learn a bit about plastic. I get asked this question a lot every time I say that I'm actually working with plastic pollution in the ocean. Maria, is there really a plastic island in the North Pacific Ocean? There is actually no such thing. There is no such thing as an island made of plastic in the North Pacific Ocean that you can actually go to or touch or even see. What does exist are these accumulation zones called gyres, where plastics accumulate in higher amounts than anywhere else in the ocean. What are gyres? Gyres are a system of circular currents that occur all around the ocean. There are five major gyres in the world. The North Pacific Gyre, the South Pacific Gyre, the North Atlantic Gyre, the South Atlantic Gyre, and the Indian Gyre. What happens is that when plastic enters these gyres, they kind of get trapped in there because since they are current, uh, since they are circular currents and plastics cannot actively swim away since they are, well, not alive and cannot swim, they tend, they accumulate in these areas in high concentrations and stay there for a long period of time. It's estimated that there are around 5 trillion pieces of plastic in the ocean and that around 40% of these pieces are actually accumulating in the North Pacific Gyre. That's why when this topic first came up, it was all about the plastic island in the North Pacific. The interesting thing is if you take your boat to this North Pacific garbage patch, you will not see plastic floating around as you might have imagined. So it's not like if you were to go there for a swim, you would be swimming in the middle of garbage. I mean, you would, but you would not see it. And the reason for that is because 90% of the, the plastic that is in the ocean is actually in the form of very, very small plastic pieces, which are called microplastics. Microplastics are generally defined as plastic pieces with less than five millimeters of diameter. They might be simply fragments from bigger pieces that just degraded into smaller pieces, or they might actually already have entered the ocean as microplastics. They might have come from industries, or they might have actually come from your toothpaste or your shampoo, because actually nowadays, a very large percentage of cosmetics and hygienic products have microplastics. When these microplastics enter the sewage systems, there's a high probability that they will end up in the ocean. And the reason for this is that the water treatment plants are not have not adapted yet to this increased plastic, microplastic pollution that is entering the waters through our, through our homes. It's not very surprising that there is so much plastic entering the ocean. Over the last years, plastic production and waste has increased immensely. Over the last 20 years, plastic production has doubled. Just to give you an idea of numbers, just in 3000 and... 3000? <laughs> Well, I'm in the future. Me. Just in 2014 alone, around 311 tons of plastic were produced. This is equivalent to the weight of around 850 Empire State buildings, 46,000 Eiffel Towers, and 12 million blue whales. It is quite a lot of plastic. It, this is this 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 is the fact that actually for me is quite impressive. It is estimated where, that there are around 500 billion single-use plastic bags produced per year. If you would connect all these plastic bags end-to-end, -end, you would be able to circumnavigate the world around 4,000 times, which means you could make a, a, a chain of plastic bags that would go around the planet 4,000 times. What? <laughs> It's not really known what is the impact of this increasing plastic pollution in our environments, including the oceans. One of the biggest concerns is how negative is the impact of plastic pollution not only in the health of the environment of the environment and of the ecosystems, the world's ecosystems, but also in our own health. It is already known that plastics are entering our food webs. For example, fish might ingest plastic due involuntarily or involuntarily. They might just ingest it because they think it's food or they might ingest another smaller fish which has ingested microplastic and then we eat the fish. This, this obviously brings the, uh, a negative effect for the fish who eats the plastic because of the physical impact that it is to have plastic in your stomach. But it also might bring additional negative effects that are then uh, kind of 
transported throughout the food web until top predators, such as ourselves. It is for instance known that plastics are really good at absorbing pollutants from the water. So this means that pl plastics are accumulating pollutants and then they are transporting them all around the world. It is also known that they are actually covered by a big microbial community uh, composed, for instance, of bacteria. It's also known that plastics have additives, which are part of the whole production of plastic and also one of the reasons why they might be so durable. So all these things that might be associated with the plastic can be taken up by the body of whichever animal eats it, in the case of our example, the fish, and then whichever animal eats the fish, it can be birds, it can be dolphins, or it can even be us, they will also consume whatever was associated with the plastic. And through this process, all those things that were associated with the plastic, bacteria or pollutants or additives, can be transported throughout the food webs until top predators such as ourselves. And the truth is, it, did, it is not really known how all these things will impact our health and the health of the whole food chain actually. Yeah, this is where we stand at the moment and we are, I think, hopefully doing progress in the future, trying, figuring out what is actually happening and how we can solve this problem. With this, my plastic buoy here. <laughs> it's a plastic, yeah, it's plastic. Well, I will not throw this one in the ocean. Nope, unless I want to swim. Yeah, that's my PhD. You're weird, Maria, you're just weird. So yeah, so this is it guys. Uh, if you like this video, like it and share it. And if you have any comments, suggestions or questions, write in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos. Uh, see you the next time. Ciao. Bye.